Well, AI goes from strength to strength. And in this week's episode, we're going to take a look at the all new Microsoft Designer, the Microsoft Designer tool that combines AI with some cool graphics tools. But how does it compare to its competitors? Well, if you're ready, let's take a look. Greetings everyone, welcome to the channel, Ali Malone, Microsoft MVP as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. You know, Microsoft continues to go from strength to strength, certainly in terms of its AI platform. Now, we've had AI-driven uh, translations for quite some time in a number of its products, including Teams uh, and Microsoft PowerPoint. But it's going even further, now getting finally into the realms of AI-driven graphics packages. And pretty soon we're going to see an addition to the Microsoft 365 platform. Well, I assume we will anyway, because it's very much a cloud-based tool. And this is called Microsoft Designer. And Microsoft Designer is a really cool feature. Now, if you're familiar with tools like Canva, uh, Canva um, is really kind of the master of the industry uh, in terms of creating thumbnails, uh, designs for t-shirts, mugs. In fact, you can create pretty much anything. But the one thing that's missing from Canva is AI. So what Microsoft are trying to do is they're tr it's trying to take the best of Canva and also the best of its own graphics packages. Now, at the moment, uh, Microsoft Designer is currently in beta. So beta means that there's room for improvement and they do really encourage your feedback. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at some of these packages. I'm going to compare it with the likes of DALI, uh, which I think is absolutely superb um, in terms of designing an AI graphic. Um, you, it's just absolutely mind boggling what that package can do. But being able to actually generate the AI and then actually use it in an application, well, that's potentially a game changer. And just kind of, you can really draw your own conclusions uh, to see where you think that Microsoft Designer sits. Okay, so I think without any further ado, let's jump in and check out this demo. So just before we start having a look at Microsoft Designer, I just wanted to show you um, the similarities that I spotted, certainly with the likes of Canva. Canva is an industry standard piece of software and it's truly amazing. And in fact, as you can see, this is the piece of software that I used to create, for example, my thumbnails. Uh, but you can also create t-shirts, posters, PowerPoint presentations, and so on. So it's pretty, pretty cool actually. But the one thing that it does miss is it misses the AI content. And although you can see that you can change graphics, you can add text, you can really, really kind of customize it. I think that the Microsoft Designer is going to be a really innovative package um, once it becomes part of Microsoft 365. And certainly, you know, you look five years down the line and it's going to be quite a, th a thing. So as you can see, you can add your own content in, your own graphics, your own pictures. And you can start something simple. So I'm going to create a bear with a scarf. And of course, it makes some suggestions. And um, a couple of minutes later, you will have a couple of generated images. All right. So kind of similar to Dali, um, it will make some suggestions. And in this case, you know, OK, they're three quite kind of kind of cute bears. Um, but you might say, well, you know, I, I want to make it a cartoon bear. So maybe I'm writing a new book. Um, so I'll go ahead and I'm going to say, right, I want to do a cartoon bear. Um, and again, it makes some kind of cool suggestions. So again, I'm going to go with this one. This, this guy looks kind of cool. Um, so I'm just going to select him and save that. And again, I have not really specified what I want to do with the bear. Um, so Again, it makes some suggestions. Do you want to create a picture or whatever? Well, I want to put the bear into a scenario. And I want to say, you know, the bear goes to school. I'm creating a book here. So, I, again, I can put in a subtitle. Um, so, I'm creating a book title, a book cover here. So, I'm going to put in my name by Andy Malone. Uh, again, it will now generate some really nice, innovative designs. 
Um, and again, I can choose one of these. Uh, let's go with this one, I think. And let's just have a look at this. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So now, of course, like any canvas, you can start um, with a blank canvas if you want to, or you can use some of these cool templates that it will uh, generate for you. Um, uh, of course, once you've got the template, you can also uh, change the graphics, you can move things around, as well as changing things like fonts and text and so on. So, for example, I can come back in here and I can say, you know, hey, you know, you can change the templates, as you can see. I can change the font colors, the titles, the, uh, the size of the text. Um, I can you know, really kind of flip things around. And again, if, you, if you're familiar with Canva, you can see there are definite similarities here. All right, so again, you've got kind of regular kind of different colors. You've got different styles, different font types, different font faces. Um, so really, really super customizable. And again, if you're not happy with any element, you can just simply change it and you can change the bare style and the colors and, uh, and what have you. Um, likewise, if you want to change any fonts or change any of the colors, you can select the text, you can change the font styles. Um, really super. Um, and again, any elements of this, any elements of the graphic, you can change this. Now, um, one of the cool things about this, of course, is once you've completed it, um, you might then want to export it out. And very similar to Canva, it's really simple. You just simply come up to the top right hand corner here. You can see the download option. And here in the download, you can um, you can export it out, which is kind of cool. You can send it directly to Instagram, social media. You can download in a number of formats, PNG, PDF, Ping, and so on. Now, I'm assuming that Microsoft will eventually add things like animations and movies and things like that in here. That would be kind of cool to see that. All right. Um, you can also change things like other elements, including the backgrounds and, and so on. And of course, ultimately, we're all asking, is this likely to be part of Microsoft 365? Well, the fact that it's a cloud-based application, the fact that it looks, that the interface looks very similar to Microsoft 365, I'll bet you it's not going to be long before the application finds its way in here. Now, AI graphics packages are definitely on the rise and the master of them all at the moment is DALI. So let's just have a quick look at that and see how it compares. OK, so I'm going to start in uh, DALI here and I'm going to put in a suggestion. I'm going to say a well-dressed cat in a pub. Uh, I always feel that, you know, cats in pubs are not very well dressed. They should be. Now, the cool thing about this particular application is it's completely AI driven. So all of these images that you're about to see are complete originals. And that's what makes this amazing. So, for example, here is my cat uh, who is looking rather well dressed uh, sitting on a bar. Pretty cool. OK, what about another one then? Let's say a, a dancing golden retriever on a beach. I love golden retrievers, by the way. So again, after a few moments, sure enough, there you go. We've now got a few dancing golden retrievers on a beach. Now, what if you wanted to go ahead and convert this? So you might say, hey, you know, let's have a, a painting of a dancing golden retriever on a beach. And sure enough, you can have it as a painting. As you can see here in the graphic, you can change the painting to the style of Van Gogh or Leonardo da Vinci or anything like that. Isn't that absolutely cool? So you next, you might think, well, OK, well, can I upload my own pictures? And absolutely you can. You can see I can take a photo. I can upload any old pictures here. This is quite funny, actually. Um, so I'm just going to open this up. So, yep. So I'm going to just bring this picture in. Just one point to note, by the way, you can see that I need a haircut in this picture. And the AI pretty much pick, picks this up. So uh, again, you can edit the picture, you can frame it, you can colorize it, you can do all the usual things that you can do in a graphics package. And you can then generate backgrounds or the pictures itself. 
So after a few seconds, you can see that, oh dear, I need a bit of a haircut. Um, but the, it's pretty cool, actually. Isn't that cool? I mean, obviously, uh, with the exception of my haircut. Uh, but you can do other things there. You can change the image. You can customize it. You can uh, change the backgrounds and things like that if you want. So you can see there are some alternatives that you can uh, choose as well. But if you're designing something, if you're a graphics designer or you need to build a, 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 a design into an application, then this is just absolutely invaluable. Now, such is the database that this application has. It is just literally mind boggling. So I'm going to take a, I'm going to generate a painting of William Wallace. I live in Scotland, of course, freedom, you know, and uh, I'm going to generate him having a game of chess. Now, I don't know if William Wallace ever played chess, um, but you can see here um, that there are a, a number of images of William Wallace. Now, William Wallace was never actually captured in a painting, um, but that's pretty cool, isn't it? Now, just before we finish with this demo, there's just one thing I wanted to mention. Obviously, you can edit it, you can save it, you can export it and so on. You can also change the size of the graphics. So if you wanted to create a poster, you can do so. Very important, I wanted to mention, by the way, uh, you'll see it's not free. So um, when you sign up for the uh, beta, um, it gives you a number of credits. And again, you can purchase more credits there as well. And they're not cheap, as you can see, okay? So again, I have a feeling that as this technology grows, um, it, you know, if you're going to start creating movies and so on, again, they will start introducing things like subscriptions. But there you go. It Anyway, that's uh, really cool, isn't it? A little bit of AI wizardry. So there you have it. Isn't that amazing? So we looked at Microsoft Designer. We looked at DALI. I think, you, you know, this type of technology, can you imagine this in things like project management, in marketing, sales? This is going to be revolutionary. I'm super excited about it. And I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. Hey, listen, if you've not subscribed, please go ahead. Bump that subscribe button, ring that bell up there, and you'll be notified of any new videos. And if you have enjoyed the video, then please bump the like button. It really does make a difference. Now, if you've got questions, comments about this or any of my other sessions, of course, just get them down below. All right, so that's it for this week's episode of The Tech Review. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks so much for dropping by today. Here's a couple of videos that you may enjoy. And while you're here, go ahead, click on the subscribe button and you won't miss out.